Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, wherever you are in the world. My name is Nick Ferrand, and these are my Italian one take property tours. I've seen many houses in my 19 years of the real estate industry in Italy, and this is one of the nicest houses I have seen. Now, this is a luxury Italian property, and this property is on the market for 2.1 million to include absolutely everything. You just get the key <laughs> and you just move in. That's it. And I just can't wait to show you this property today because I just think it is uh, a beautiful example of what can be achieved in this beautiful country. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is the uh, a quick tour of the land and the vista and the uh, total square meterage of this property is 265 square meters and it comes with a private gym and spa. And there it is. Now, you've got a swimming pool, um, you've got a extra like, um, fondo or barn, which is being used as the fifth bedroom. And we'll get to that in a mo. But I'm just going to pull around and if I can show you the view and the sun is going to be directly uh, pointing towards us. But I'm going to do my very best. And if you look to the left hand side through the haze, you can see Cortona in the hills and beautiful terrace of olives. Now you're about 15 minutes away in the car and the road leading up here is quite narrow. And to be honest with you, I really do not know how they managed to get all the building materials and the excavators and everything else up to this location to build this property to begin with. I just, I just find it absolutely incredible. Now, what you've got in the distance are lots of other luxury houses, um, perched with views, looking over the valley below and up towards Cortona. And we are going to walk along the garden area. The total land is four hectares and the fenced area is two hectares. And the garden is mature and beautifully done. This restoration was done in or finished in 2020. And uh, it's, 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 just, it's just absolutely beautiful. Now, <laughs> there are going to be a few uh, words a day. I don't know which ones, but as we go through, um, I will uh, tell you as I get excited. In we go through the door into the kitchen. I told you. <laughs> I really did. What a property. Really, it's... Yeah, sublime. I used... You know, it's just a quality restoration project with really a, a just great taste and charm. And as I said to you, it can come with everything. Now let's pull around slowly and I'll show you where I came from. It's gonna be a little bit of light differentiation between the outside and the inside. And as we come around, you've got a whopper of a Samsung fridge freezer and it has been connected to the water supply, which is a well and 150 meters deep. There's a filter system on there for your ice cubes and your cold drinking water. Now, just a lovely open space with a kitchen. I can see a five burner hob, cooker. Just to the left of the cooker, there is a dishwasher and a very nice sink. And yeah, I just want to show you this because this is a beautiful piece of Italian marble. And what they've had, they've had it, see that there? They've had it cut, right? So that's a drain away. So if you put something on there and you've got water dripping, it drains into the sink. Isn't that a lovely idea? 
Yeah, I really love it. What a lovely piece of marble that is. Absolutely beautiful. Right. For those pizza lovers, I'm going to just pop down here and I'm just going to come into here because just to the left of me is the original oven. And the fire extinguishers are there and will be allocated around the house because this house is rented and it makes 60,000 euros a year net. Now, and I always look, can you, if I, if I look up, can you see how those tiles are blackened? That's because that oven was the original oven and that is billowing smoke that has stained those. And I think it's very clever of them to leave that. It's a really nice, interesting part of the history of the property. <laughs> well, that's done it for me. <laughs> and we're only in the kitchen. Now we come in here and you have a downstairs cloakroom. Um, I'm just going to pop up and you will be hearing the extractor fan. And just to the right of me, basically, there is a, uh, a loo. And just behind there, I'm not going to go in, is the washing machine. Now, this property has been designed for maximum bedrooms, but as we walk through and then as we go up the stairs, you will see uh, all the bedrooms have bathrooms en suite. So we're going to walk along this corridor. It really is just, just gorgeous. The thought, attention and care that's gone into creating this house is amazing. Let's go and have a look at this bathroom here. Look at that. Cut travertine. Very upmarket shower doors. Travertine, which is then going down. I'm going to pull down and show you. And there it is cut the same onto the floor. Yeah, really. I know it's a little bit orange because basically the camera is set for um, a color balance between daylight and tungsten bulbs. Now, this is bedroom four, but it could easily be a incredibly beautiful reception room if you want it to be. As I said to you that this house is rented, and there's light streaming in through the window. Uh, you're facing south outside. And the door that you can see in front of me is a door that leads into another room, which you could turn into a TV room if you wanted to. Beautiful color. Can I come over here? You can see the detail and the color on the walls and the way that's been done. Yeah, incredibly stylish. If I pull back here, you can see the, well, it's not a cupboard. It's not a wardrobe. It's somewhere to hang your clothes with mirrors behind when you were on holiday. And I, I just love it. And what I also love as well as we come up here is the original tiles. And they have just, the wood's just been limed and the tiling is gorgeous. 
Absolutely gorgeous. That's a picture in itself. Oh, wow, we that's you know, it's, it's, it's really is beautiful. But as I said to you, if you would like to change this and make this into a living room, um, you just have to take the bed out, <laughs> put a sofa in, and off you go. Aircon throughout. Yeah, stunning. Right, let's keep going. We're going to go back out into the big dining reception area and the open plan kitchen. And look at that, really. Fireplace to the left. And the owner of the house came up to, uh, to show me around the house first of all. And he said that this flooring, or basically the flooring of um, the fireplace, is reclaimed from a cantina and that flooring is about a thousand years old. <laughs> Ingenuity. I mean, people's style is basically, it's, 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 I just get jolly excited about the whole thing. Right, this building has a spiral staircase. So up we go. All right, I'm just getting up to the top of the stairs and to the right of me is the first bedroom and let's just pop in. Yeah, what could I see? <clears throat> Excuse me. I can see a beautiful bed. I can see air conditioning units. I can see two beautiful windows. And they have a similar They must have had those made. I really do like them. If you're coming on holiday, you just hang your clothes up and, you know, there's got open drawers below. I'm gonna see whether I can pop my head out of the window. See if I can do that. They have a beautiful fish tank. all made in stone. Hey, look at that view. Gonna get a little bit of flair, but... Tuscany. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, this is a jolly nice room, actually. Windows all have double glazing. And if we come down here, heated tower well, very nice sink, painted wood, en suite. Painted ceiling tiles. And I really do like these doors. Aren't they lovely? They really are gorgeous. No wonder it's making so much money as a rental. Beautiful.
the light coming in is uh, it's just gorgeous. Everywhere you go, there's basically something to see or, you know, a feeling or an impression that you get. Just to the left of me, that black chair is a desk. There's Wi-Fi throughout the house. And if you didn't want to come up the spiral staircase, as traditionally with all these stone houses, and as I come forward and the camera will adjust, you can look down and you can see the original staircase. So you could quite easily come up the other way from outside. Another lovely hallway. Now I'm going into bedroom three. And I really do like the way that they've taken those old picture frames and painted them all the same color and put them on as a work of art. <laughs> Don't you like them? I just, I just think that's just fun. It's really nice. new lighting at the back. What you're hearing is the uh, extractor fan from the bathroom. Personally, I don't like it, but it is a necessity. En suite with a step, and then you have a very nice Shower, no bidet, but a lovely sink and a toilet on the right. Now we're going into bedroom four and you come up and immediately to the right there is another bathroom and again that's the, the you know the sink unit is on a an old piece of painted wood Stylish, stylish, beautiful glass shower surrounds. The owner told me that just the uh, glass surrounds for the showers was 7,000 euros. And I, I, I can believe it because they, you know, you can see the quality. Bedroom four. <laughs> I think probably I would have, I would say that this is the master bedroom. It's the, uh, it's the bigger of the four and you've got a south facing view and you know, a west facing view, which the window we're looking at at the moment. And again, a lot of thought, <clears throat> attention to detail, and care has been put into the restoration of this property. Love the lights. You know, it's something that you would see in the, in the Four Seasons, you know, or another five-star hotel. If I came to Italy um, and, you know, I wanted to basically live in a five-star hotel. Uh, this, this, I, I would be very happy here. Very happy here. It's very bright and light for a country house. And again, 
if I pull up and you will see basically it's a little orange at the back but as I pull forward with the natural light that you will begin to see the real color and it's a cream slight off white it's beautiful absolutely beautiful what a house really as I said to you this could be bought with everything in it and you just come and enjoy Italy. Okay, we're not done yet. So um, I'm just going to uh, have a slight cut so we can get outside and move on to the next building. Okay, so what we're doing is I thought it'd be good for you to see the staircase going down to the garden area. As I mentioned that you could come up if you didn't want to come up um, up the spiral staircase and you can come directly up the stairs and there you have it. Original staircase coming up and then we are back outside with this phenomenal view. All right, down the stairs we go. Now, a room from the main house I didn't show you because it's not connected at this moment in time is this room to the right hand side. Now, this could be an extension to the bedroom to make a real walk in closet because as I come round, there is that. And well, you can go back at the bedroom on the ground floor, but now that's had soundproofing between the two, but you could easily open that up and turn it back into basically, well, it could be whatever you wanted. And if you wanted um, to turn that bedroom on the ground floor into um, a living room, then you could quite easily do that. Um, I suppose on holiday, you need spaces to, you know, get together. That's the whole point of holiday to come together as friends and family. Yeah, the view is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at this. Right, in we go. The house has electric gates. Okay, so what I've got is a relaxed area. There might be a different sound in here. And then you have a sauna, a steam room, a shower, and then at the end to the right hand side is a toilet. It is gorgeous. I don't know how they got the, the, the building materials up here. <laughs> incredible. Really is incredible. Your own personal spa. Can't hear anything apart from the slight wind rustling through the trees. Now, as we come along to the back of the house, if you're not interested in the gym, they have cleverly built your own wine cellar. Beautiful stonework, isn't it just? Really gorgeous, got some bits and pieces there. 
There's two garden sheds which are below. Oh, the light. The air conditioning units are very cleverly tucked away behind the back of the house. I do think they can look quite ugly, those. I wish someone would come up with a better system for that. Now, one of the restrictions in the Cortona area is that it's very difficult to get um, a large swimming pool. Um, the Comune weren't that thrilled with people having very large pools and so therefore the maximum size that one can get is eight meters by four meters but that's enough to get wet <laughs> you know and jump in and jump back out and uh, you know start sipping your negroni now i'm going to go down because i want to show you the uh, the cantina room which is being used as an extra bedroom at this moment in time. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to pull around to the right so I can show you the land going up as well. Classic, classic Tuscan countryside. There's about 400 olives and it produced last year about 12 metric tons of olive oil. I'll just pop into this glass door. As I mentioned to you, basically this is an occasional bedroom and there will have to be a planning application if you wanted to have this registered. Very nice how the way they've done the strip lighting. And a very nice choice of furniture. Not too much, not too little, but just enough. Beautiful flagstones on the floor. Let's see if I can get down and show you that. Yeah. And then again, you've got a lovely sink and a shower and a toilet, no bidet in this room. Great place if you wanted kids and uh, you wanted to bring a nanny. Really beautiful. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another cut because I want to show you the barbecue area and that's on the other side of the house and it might be just too far away. So bear with me. Okay, I'm back to the door where the kitchen was. I'm just coming down the stairs. They had built lots of areas for parking below. And yeah, there's the barbecue area. And also what I wanted to show you, the electrician who uh, did this house is well known in this area. And he's put some really lovely, I don't know whether you can see that, little LED lights coming down. I expect it's just gorgeous at night. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to show you the back of the house because I think that's important. Now, originally the earth and the side of the hill came all the way to the back of the house and they've excavated, which is a jolly good idea. Beautiful rosemary everywhere. This is the barbecue area, surrounded by terraced olive trees. Steel construction, 
bamboo and then plastic on the top. And I can just see the, uh, the church of Cortona from here. I'm going to pull back. Be absolutely stunningly beautiful property. Really is. Right, let's get inside and I'll give you a bit more further information. Yes, Santa, I'm coming. I I'm, I'll be there in a minute. I've just got to finish my one take Italian property tour. <sighs> so much to do. <laughs> really, honestly. <laughs> right. Details. Property tax, 3,000 euros a year. <laughs> property area, 265 square meters in total. Total land, two hectares of fenced area with beautiful garden and four areas in total with 400 olive, olive trees producing loads of olive oil. Four bedrooms with the potential of a fifth bedroom. And if you wanted to have four bedrooms and a reception room, then yeah, why not? If this wasn't a big enough space, why not? Swimming pool, four meters by eight meters. Um, just a beautiful spa. I mean, you've got a sauna, steam room, you know, a jacuzzi. I forgot to mention the jacuzzi outside. I didn't show you the jacuzzi outside. I am so sorry, but it's one of those, you know, the ones that just sit above ground. <laughs> well, 150 meters. Spoke to the owner, they had no issues with water this year, and if you've had no issues with water this year, you will never have issues with water. Comes with all the furniture. Internet, air conditioning, 2.1 million euros, key in hand. This is for you, Kirk. For all, and everybody else, for all of you who have subscribed to this channel, I cannot thank you enough. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, would you be so kind and push those buttons and make this little elf very happy. Have a great Christmas and I'll see you in 2023. Take care. Bye-bye.